You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. My guy. Young Bobby Brown, a.k.a. Woody McClain. Yo, what's good? Now, first Charlamagne, of all, Woody, you know, South Carolina's own. Well, yeah. I need to know who claims Woody. Is it South Carolina or Jacksonville? What, 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 step you, what, re, what set you rep, fool? That's, that's, that's a tough one. Ooh. Okay. Because it's both equally, like, you know what I mean? I can't shit on one. You was born in Charleston, though. I was born in Charleston, South Carolina, and then I moved to Jacksonville. At what age? Uh, wait, when did I move? Yep. Elementary. Oh, Elementary yeah, now he's East Florida all day. I'm going to be honest with you, man. Really? I'm, I'm shocked that you stood a chance in life, being born in South Carolina and then Yo, moving to Florida. It, it was <laughs> rough. Jacksonville, too. Jacksonville of all places. South Carolina. I didn't, the only thing I didn't like about South Carolina because my parents would give the uh, principal permission to whoop me in school. Yes, I used to have to have. I had I had that happen to me up until high school. You're I, young. They, they I can't hated do that, that anymore. No, nah, not no more. I mean, but back when I was in school, I'm not that. Am I young? Yeah, younger than us. How old oh, are you? true, true, true. Yeah, he said true. Yeah, don't yeah, say yeah. that true no, like you know. No, 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 no. Don't just assume because you see a few grays. <laughs> right. you, you, I ain't get my haircut yet. That's all right. <laughs> nah, I was happy I got out of there for that reason though. So you used to get paddling second grade, yeah. third grade. Oh my grade. god, my principal used to love it. He was like, "Yeah, I'm calling your mom." My mom be like, "Yep, do it." And then he would he would go ham. Really? Do you remember the principal's name? Nah, I don't. Got you. It's all blur. So when you moved to Jacksonville, that that was a wrap. They couldn't do that no more. Nah, it was none of that. Got you. Mm -mm. Now, now, how much cocaine did you have to sniff to prepare for the role of uh, Bobby Brown? <laughs> Goodness gracious! You talking about on on set or in real life? In real life. I mean, oh no, no, no! I never done it in real life. Okay. Yeah. Did you have to? Did you have to learn how to fake it? Because Charlemagne tells us a story of how he had the, you know, every once in a while he's in those circles and he does fake. So, somebody not every it. once in a while. It happened one time. You know? oh, yeah, right. yeah. How was that? You just put the line of coke right here and then you just, but you, ooh, but you knock it off the ooh. table. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And you just let a little get on the tip of your nose, and you just go, woo! Oh, that's the ultimate finesse. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. That's all it is. I like it. I respect it. I respect it. So how it. did you prepare for this role? Man, uh, this time around, it was it was a different process. Mm -hmm. They brought in, like, a, a whole new, like, coach or whatever mm -hmm. to work with me. Um, I worked, got a chance to work with Fatima Robinson uh, on the dance side. Mm -hmm. She's worked with, like, a whole bunch Everybody. of the greats. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. She's super dope. And, um, and our director, Kyle. Mm -hmm. He's a new dude. Uh, he's come from under Spike Lee, so he was super cool to work with too. Cause mm -hmm. we both like new in the game, so I've I've always like been like asking God to like please give me new people to work with, like exactly. so, so somebody I can grow with. Yeah, yeah. Now, how much did you know about Bobby Brown before this? Cause you are young, yeah, forty. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. did you know anything about Bobby Brown, New Edition before this? Nah, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I only knew a little bit because they brought me in for the during the Whitney Houston movie. Fatima called me and she was like, "I need somebody to do the dance." For the guy playing my guy uh, Arlen, uh, he was the b real Bobby for that. So okay. they brought me in to right. be his dance double. So then that's when I learned about Bobby because I only knew Real Husbands of Hollywood, Bobby. I, Damn I was it, like, man! Yeah. <laughs> Damn it! I'm yeah. not mad at that though because you're young. So yeah, I mean, yeah, but yeah. you know none of the music at all. Every little step. I, I knew I heard the music, but I I didn't put the music with the face though. Got you. Because he looked different from like now when he was back in the day though. True. I mean, this thing called age. And, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Drug yeah. use has a wear it wears your body down. Yeah, a little yeah, bit. yeah. And he's parents, that guy. He's that guy. What your parents used to listen to growing up in the house? My dad is like an earth, wind, and fire type of dude. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He stay cranking that. So he never got, yeah, you never had the 90s R&B vibe, the new that Jack swing vibe. Never. Like, that's 80s. Late 80s, early Late 80s. 90s. Never, never. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. So did you talk to Bobby Brown when you were shooting this? Were y'all in contact with each other? And yeah. You talking? And how was that, talking to Bobby? It's dope. If you met Bobby, you know he's like, He's like he comes becomes family. He's like he became like my uncle. Mm -hmm. So anything I ever wanted to talk to him about, I ask him. He would tell me. Was anything difficult talking to him about? I never talked to him about Bobby Chrissy. Bobby Chris. I, I I couldn't. I couldn't do it because like he's super emotional. So when he's talking, you can feel. You can see his tears. Yeah, I heard he cries yeah. a lot. Yeah, he's he's like that guy. So when people ask him certain things, like I, I'd be sitting there and somebody would be like. So blah, 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 they, they'll just say it like he's not like a real human being. But right. I'm like, yo, this dude has real emotions, you know what I mean? And I, I hate to see people cry. So I would just like avoid those kind of questions. Yeah, it's interesting, man, because, you know, it's layers <laughs> to Bobby Brown's life. Did you read the book, Every Little Step? Yeah, yeah. So you realize how, many, how much death happened mm -hmm. in his life back to back to back to back. Yeah, yeah, it was insane. So you would know why he would cry. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. You know, and I, I haven't, I haven't, thank God I haven't lost a lot of people in my mm -hmm. life, you know what I mean? But doing this role... It made me realize how important family is, because mm -hmm. he can't go back and tell them how he how he feels now. You know what I mean? But I still have my my peoples here today, so I make sure I call him every day and mm -hmm. be like, "Mama, I love you." 
dad, sister, I love y'all. You know what I mean? So I'm super excited that I did this project. So you didn't talk to him about Bobby and Chris. Did you talk to him about his mom? You talked to him about his dad? You yeah. talked to him about Whitney? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And um, TK Carter that played my dad, he was real cool with the family too. So he gave me a lot of insight. What did you learn about Bobby that you didn't know? He ain't know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't know nothing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I'm Bobby. saying after, after, because you did the new edition movie, so you learned a lot of things. Yeah, right. Yeah. But doing the solo movie, what did you learn that you didn't know? It's, it's a moment in there that I didn't know. I don't want to say it. I know what it is. Yeah, you know what it is. But I was the like, oh, where? Do, 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 do the press Jackson. Yeah, Jackson. yeah. The whole Jimmy Jackson thing. <laughs> I was like, oh, where? Yeah, yeah. I thought that was dope. So y'all recreated that scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The way it can is I, in can the I book? say that? Can I say that? Yeah. yeah it's already, we I mean, it's that rumor is out. And when Bobby was here, I asked him about it. He said he believed I was in there. Yeah. So was it the way it went down in the book? Is that how y'all recreated it? Yeah. Same scenario. Same scenario. Why he threw her out and everything. Same hey scenario. Guys, the show was on wow. yesterday, guys. The show was on, the show was on yesterday. It was on yesterday. I don't know if they, I don't know if that's in the first part or the second part. Though. It's in the first part. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we can yeah. talk about it then. That's right. Yeah. People now, go crazy for that part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think she. I, I mean, uh, we recording this the day before, so we might as well tell. Them, I think that she gonna get slandered heavily on social media. You think so? Yes, man. But it's not her fault. Yeah. Uh, it was her father. That's like, and it was a long time ago. Allegedly, her father didn't want her with a black guy, and because she was with a black guy, Bobby got mad. Well, you no, told no, us. no, no, no. She told her father, uh, Bobby was like, "I love you, I want to be with you," and she said, "My father would hate if I bring a black man home." Right. Yes. Mm. So Bobby threw her out butt naked. There it is. And then I, I think she's gonna get. I think I'm pretty sure she's gonna get slandered heavy for that. Why? I don't think so. I, I can't see it. It wasn't her. I mean, because if you add up everything with the Jacksons, right? Mm. And I love the Jacksons. Right. I'm just saying, if you take Janet, you know, what I'm saying, and you take that statement. And then you look at the way Michael Jackson transitioned. Correct. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, Michael Jackson right. was born a strong black, black man, man looking right. like Colin Kaepernick, and yeah. then now he he died a white woman, and none of his kids are none of his kids are black. Horrible. He didn't I'm die just saying. A white woman. He died so I don't know if the, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's the father's fault or what, but it was some anti-blackness going on in that household. That's but tough. Janet dated one of the blackest of all black people, Jermaine Dupree. There it is. Strip club, Jermaine Dupree. Jermaine was an elf. <laughs> he's not even human. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know not what? even human. Yes, he was. Leave JD alone. <laughs> you think that you're gonna have some backlash from Janet fans for doing that? Who me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not the real Bobby Brown. Yeah, but you not, can't be mad at me. <laughs> you are to this era. No, I'm not. Then that's the that's the only part that I don't like. Cause I remember when we did the new edition story, mm -hmm. and I was in the grocery store, and this older older lady kept looking back at me, and I could see out of my periphery. I'm like, dang, she keep looking at me. And then the last time she looked at me, she was like, "You so bad." Like you're just bad for the group, and I'm like, she was talking to me like as if <laughs> like I was really was Bobby Brown, like, and that that kind of hit me, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, yo, it was just a, a movie. I'm not really him. My name is Woody. And what'd she say? Yeah, she said you just hard headed, and then walked away. <laughs> I was like, all right, yeah, yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. So I think you will probably get a little backlash from uh, Janet Jackson fans. I don't think so. I'm gonna change my whole identity. I'm gonna right. get a bald head. Now, now, when Bobby cries, right? What do you do when Bobby cries? Like when you're talking to Bobby and he cries, like what do you do? Because that can be kind of awkward. Nah, I look away. I try to change the subject. Really? Yeah, yeah. You don't rub his back or nothing? Nah, no no physical anything. I just look away. <laughs> I get a text message and walk away. Something, it's something. I, I avoid <laughs> it. I can't, I just can't see nobody. I can't see nobody like in pain like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. hard. It's so it hard. makes you feel awkward? Yeah. You know what I mean? Doing this whole project, it made me emotional. You know, yep. I haven't cried since I was like 14 years old. Really? But doing this and like feeling what he actually went through with the hair and I had the makeup on, they put me with the teeth in my mouth. Like I really felt like as if I was They Bobby. put the crooked teeth in your mouth and everything? Like the, yeah, they the, gave the, me like the, the, the whole, gap. yeah. A lot really? of people be disappointed by that too. Girls be kind of like, oh, you don't have a gap? It's like, ah, I'm like, ah. You're not, you're not nervous to be pigeonholed? Like it, everybody's just gonna look at you at Bobby Brown for the rest of your life? Nah. Like, I like mean, the Tupac character, the dude that played Tupac. Like, I, every time I look at him, I just see Pac. Man. That's because he looked like Pac. Oh, yeah. That, that, I, that I don't help. think I look like Bobby. You know what I mean? I I don't know. I, I've never been put in a box that I couldn't break out of. Mm. You know what I mean? So, I don't I don't know. I mean, when we first got casted for it, they was like, who is these niggas? These niggas don't look nothing like New Edition. They were right. saying I look like B.O.B. to... Uh, you do look like B.O.B. You do look like B.O.B. I got, I I got, got B.O.B. Like to... You look like a flat earth nigga. Uh, <laughs> To Kel Mitchell, they was like, it was like, oh, that's the dude from you Good Burger. You definitely look like Kel Mitchell. You know what I mean? You look like him too. But now I look like Bobby Brown, so I'm like, can y'all make up y'all mind what y'all want me to look like? Yeah, yeah. Did you do anything with your jaw? Because you know, at the, at the point what? in Bobby's life where the yeah. jaw was all over the yeah, place. Yeah, we go through all that. So how'd you do that in the movie? What what they do to your jaw? Uh, they look? had they they had a little 
their little secrets or whatever. Like what? You can't I say? Wanna, I don't wanna, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It was a lot of fun, though. Did you spend a lot of time with Bobby uh, personally on and off it? Off, off yeah, studio? a lot. Because, you know, he cooks, too, so they invited me over for the 4th of July. Mm-hmm. Bobby cooked the crib? Spend, yeah, yeah. How got was chance, that? It was dope. It was real dope. I enjoy his family. They real cool people. Did you get eat, eat any of that world famous uh, cocaine rib sauce? Nah, I never had that. Hold the cocaine. You mean the barbecue sauce, man? You talking <laughs> about the barbecue sauce? You put some cocaine no, in the barbecue no sauce? Cocaine in no, no barbecue sauce. What's wrong with you, man? You talking about the flour thing from the book? Oh, the coat. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. The flour, the yeah, chicken. Yeah, it was yeah, chicken. yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, nah. Yeah. It was none of that. None of that. Did, did, since you never, you this never guy. did drugs, right? Nah, nah, nah. So you never had a drug overdose? No, no. So where do you, you know, what inspiration, you know, what do you pull from? Because you, you in the first part, scene of the movie, you drug overdose. Yeah. yeah. Um, this coach I was working with, uh, Claire, she's been through, like, everything. Mm-hmm. So she, she like, really, like, put me through the course of, like, what she went through when she was dealing with that kind of stuff. Mm. So I just kind of took what she did and kind of put my own thing on it. Yeah. You never had no drug use in your family or a close friend? Not that I know of. Wow. Yeah. That's great. Coming from South Carolina and Florida. Yeah, no, nah, not that I know of. Everybody just smoke weed. I don't smoke weed, so I only drink. Never smoke weed before? Never smoke weed a day in my life. Really? Yeah. You're not missing nothing. Yeah. Do you have any vices, man? Any who? Vices. Vices? Vices is like, you know, something that, like a habit. Weed, drugs. Spending too much alcohol, money. Sex. Women, sex. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. I be chilling. I be at the crib. Yeah, I'm sure right. women are. I do be chilling. Knock right it off. Bro, I be There's chilling. No listen, 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 this now. listen, it's all about the craft. It's all about the work. You know what I mean? I don't focus on none of that stuff. You got to so, enjoy life a so, little bit, though. A little bit. A little bit. You ain't getting no extracurricular act, poom poom since nah, being I just Bobby say, Brown? I, I just tell them, like, yo, I'm focused on my career. And they say, I, I respect that. You so, tweeted out white is right last year. <laughs> did he? Yes. He just tweeted no. out white is right. What did did, first of all, what did that mean? I don't want to assume. What did that mean? All right, so the situation happened. Uh, I went to FAMU. You mm-hmm. like white women? No, I don't. Listen, can I, can I explain? You don't like white yes, women. Let, can I, talk. Wait, let, let me talk. explain it. Let me explain it. <laughs> let me explain what happened. Okay, so I went to HBCU. FAMU. You know I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Ratless. My girlfriend is Jamaican. All right, so Wagwan. we- Wagwan! You know Woody. what I mean? So look, so listen, this is how it went down. Mm-hmm. So we will be together, and it's something that's called subtweeting. And mm-hmm. I don't know a lot of people know what subtweeting is, but it's like- <laughs> You know, a lot of people don't know what subtweeting is. What are you talking about? Well, everybody knows what subtweeting talk, is. Some people don't talk. know what subtweeting is, though. But, okay. like, she would tweet, like, and we'll just be playing around because we're both goofy. She'd be like, I'm tired of black man. I, I'm going to get me a white man. And I would say, if it ain't white, it ain't right. You know what I mean? So we'll go back and forth like that. But I'm just using, like, black is white. I'm using this, the stuff that I've heard yeah, growing yeah, yeah, up. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's it's joking. And then once New Edition came out, my PR said... Nobody ever said black is whack, by the way. Black, you never heard black is whack? I heard crack is whack. I, never, I, heard, I heard black I, is whack I, I, before. I heard crack is whack, okay. too. I but know. I was just saying references that I heard being funny, though. Right. Yeah, and yeah, my yeah. PR said when the New Edition came, she said, if you have anything out there, any tweets, let me know, and we'll make sure it gets deleted. But me, <laughs> I'm not... I'm right, you not, should have called Charlotte. Listen, but, <laughs> but I'm not thinking about that because I, I wasn't even thinking about mm-hmm. those tweets that I tweeted in 2011 because I knew it came from a joking place. So when that happened, I remember going to the movies and I'm like, yo, my Twitter blowing up. I'm like, dang, something must be going viral. I was happy. I came out my PR call. I'm like, what the hell is all these tweets and all this? I'm like, I didn't know what was going on until I seen it. But somebody else put extra, they Photoshopped extra tweets and like put this whole collage and they picked the worst picture. You know how like mm-hmm. they usually get you a, a, a picture that matched what the shit is? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that's how that situation happened. Though. Yeah. Okay, so so uh, you got a girlfriend? No, I don't. You just I'm said sing, I'm at the time at you the had time it. I had it. Oh, got you, got you, got you. Call Kaylee. Huh? You um, <laughs> that, 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 now I know, I know. Caribbean women really dig you, man. Oh word! I know one around here right now that digs you a little bit. Call her in here. Uh, oh word! Call her in here, Taylor. Go get her. Open the door. Call her in here. Go get Michaela. Michaela. <laughs> Michaela. <laughs> Where's she at? Oh, I'm gonna show it to you. You oh might be goodness. interested. So you're handling the temptations of Hollywood pretty well, huh? Yeah, man. Uh, I grew up watching Unsung, so I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen. <laughs> a, I've seen a lot, man. So and I, and I, I like to learn from other people's mistakes. Very true. Yeah, yeah. So I just be chilling. That's why Bobby is such a good story. Yeah. I wonder does Bobby regret anything? I don't think he. We asked him when he was up here. He said no. He said nah, he didn't regret anything. You nah, don't remember he when he was up here? Yeah, but I mean that's the that could be the microphone answer. You know what I'm saying? Like you might be having a. Off the air conversation with him. I don't think he does. He said that. He said he didn't. Not at all. Mm-mm. I'm thinking. I think the only thing was probably a better relationship with his daughter. I mean, I'm sure a stronger relationship with his daughter. But other than that, I don't think he, he regrets anything. Mm. Right. Made him the man who he is today. Mm. Is, is there anything that you regret that you done? 
Besides that tweet? <laughs> yeah. Uh, is it anything? Nah, I'm happy I did everything. Mm. Yeah. Everything happened for a reason for me, so. Absolutely. You you was, you were signed by Kevin Hart earlier in your career, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, to his um, production company, Heartbeat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. For what, though? For uh, his Laugh Out Loud network. Um, I did I did his uh, stand-up, and I made it, we, like, put it together and, like, made it real, but using his voice still. And then it kind of went viral. What do you mean? So you was a comedian? Like, nah, 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 nah. Like, I did, like, Vine and, like, I started off doing social media content first. Okay. okay. Yeah, so from there, we took his permission to cuss with a teacher cussing him out mm-hmm. and all that, and then we recreated it, like, but still using his voice, but we actually played out the scene. Oh, no. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how did you get out that deal? Uh, I mean, it's over now. Oh, so it was only for a limited time? Yeah, that was a limited time. Mm. So is, she, is she embarrassed? You don't want to come in? Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna introduce her to you off the air. Now, tell right, her that, now who's Michaela? Michaela, Michaela is uh, she works here at at iHeartRadio. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? She can say nice Caribbean okay. woman. You know okay. what I'm saying? All right. Maybe a little tall. How tall are you? I'm like six. She about six. You ain't no six. I'm six definitely one. six, bro. Yeah, I'm she's six. about six one, six, I'm six two. Six one. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. I can Caribbean handle that. woman. All right. You know what I mean? She went to HBCU. She went okay. To HBCU too. Where she went to? She went to Howard. Howard. Yeah, I said the same thing. I said the same thing. But you you give a pass. She's she's a good person. Where she at? She not coming? Mm, no. <laughs> she embarrassed for whatever nah. reason. I heard you like women that shoot they shot though, so maybe I should tell oh, her I love to it. step to you. I love it. Tell her to shoot. Let me send her a text. You like right you now. like aggressive women, women that will come at you immediately? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. What's the craziest thing a a, a female has done to get your attention? <laughs> Hello? Michaela. What do you want? Come say hi to Woody. He likes girls that shoot their shot. <laughs> We're live on air, Michaela. We, we live on air. Come say hi. He he likes. I say hi to him when I came when he came in. Why you don't want to say hi on camera? I'm right outside the. the oh, she's right there. See, <laughs> Michaela, come. What you think, Woody? Come, 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 Michaela, you know Woody? Come, 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 Michaela. You, you know, know Woody? Hey, how do you, you know Woody? <laughs> I do now. Oh, okay, you do now. You didn't know him before this, huh? We were talk we were talking about you, and you know, the only thing that he said was a little funny was that you went to Howard. That's just the only Weird. thing. It, he went to an HBCU and everything. Both went to terrible schools. Whoa. This is not gonna work. This is not this is not, 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 not how you shoot your shot, Michaela. You, you like women that shoot their shot. That's not how you shoot your shot. If you were shooting your shot with Woody, what would you say? What would you say? First of all, why am I getting interrogated? If you seen him at the bar and you you know, want to shoot my shot, you oh, say, oh, tall as you is, don't know how to shoot. It's a goddamn. <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> That's your type, Woody. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Set it up. Set it up for me. Okay, oh, okay. See, Uncle Charla out here hey. breaking love connections. <laughs> okay, all right. We are gonna see how this goes. You know what I mean? Have Nick follow y'all, follow y'all with the camera. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. See how it goes with y'all for a little All first right. day? Say no more. Okay. Okay. Well, Woody, we that. appreciate you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing this show tonight. Hey, Michaela, appreciate don't y'all. go too far. <laughs> don't you go too far. I, wonder, I, I do wonder how far off you are from the character Bobby Brown, though. Do you feel like y'all have any similarities, anything in common? Uh, we both can dance. That's it. Yeah, I'm. Bobby's, like, super, like, outspoken and, like, you know what I mean? He's that guy. I'm like the guy that like to disappear in the room. Really? I don't like attention. Really? Yeah, I don't. I hate it. I hate it. So why'd you become an actor then? Because I just wanted to make people feel. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, just when I was younger, I remember my mom sitting in front of the TV and she's like, oh my God, Eddie Murphy. I went to school with him. Like, and just to see my mom's eyes light up like that, I was like, yo, I want that same feeling for people that I go to school with. Got you. You know what I mean? So I always thought that was dope. Michaela, what's his sign? What's Woody's sign? Oh, I'm just testing you to see if you really know him or not. What, what's your sign, Woody? Uh, Taurus. Taurus, okay. Yeah. I don't know anything about Tauruses. Yeah. So I was trying to figure out why you're so reserved and like to disappear in the room. I don't know. I just I don't like the, the spotlight like that. Wow. Yeah. So you probably killed the role of Bobby Brown then. Man. Only because like when you're the opposite of something, you really can mm. let loose. Yes, yeah, yeah, I can really be outspoken and loud. But in real life, negative. My life is boring. Michaela's life is boring too. Oh, word. Yeah, y'all can be boring together. Can be boring yeah, together. it is. I you was about to saying? say it. Could... Hey, we can be boring together. I like that. What's what? next? What's next after this? Uh, we got Canal Street coming out. Um, with Ryan Lamar. I think you're not. You're not in it. 
Oh shit, I am in that. <laughs> I just thought about that. I didn't know what you was talking about. What are you, yeah, what are you yeah, playing yeah, Canal yeah. Street, Charlotte? What yeah, did you play? Yeah. I thought that was a documentary or something though. It's like that. It's, oh it's, yeah, no, I'm yeah. bugging. Yeah, yeah. I did an interview. I did a. Fa- yeah, 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 okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. All right. That right there. That's gonna be in theaters. Yeah, that's in theaters September 14th. Must not really? be too memorable yeah. if he can't remember his yeah. part now. Because does he yeah. have a line? Huh? Does he have a line? Yeah. He gets. He I do a whole scene. Yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't realize it. Hmm. Oh. Nah, it's dope. It's dope. So September 14th. September 14th. Oh man, that's hot. I'm yeah. cooking out here. Hey, <laughs> this is my third cooking. movie this year. For I did cooking. after party. I just after seen Netflix. that. That was dope. That comes out September 14th, and okay. then Body comes out November 2nd. There it is. Yep. And you got talking scenes. And Body. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all over Body. I'm a producer on Body too. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Eminem's the executive producer, but that's okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you for oh. joining us, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Woody McLean tonight. Make sure you check part two of the Bobby Brown movie, mm-hmm. and we appreciate what you time? joining us. Oh, yeah, man. You know what time? Uh, Lord have mercy. I'm sure it's like 9. 9 p.m. BT. I think it's, yeah, I think yeah. It's 9, yeah, 9 p.m. We'll double check that. Yeah. It's The Breakfast Club. It's Woody McClain. 